All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekai Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, who taught us this truth. Today's lesson, you can see, I'm not sure what I would entitle this, but, you know, the Lord ain't playing, man. Hey, and then he's making an example out of the these people that are highly esteemed in this, you know, this world that we call a uh, black rap a rap culture, should I say? And you know he's allowing everyone to see what's going on and what he does when he's not pleased with our people, you know. And this is the death of uh, one of the uh, the members of uh, the Migos, and his name is uh, Take Takeoff. Uh, in this photo, you can see to your left is pointing at the side of his head. This is a guy is in front of him with a hat, and uh, <clears throat> it's hey, you know, it, you know, you you our brothers in this truth, you know, everyone's making a video concerning this situation and trying to wake our people up, which we know, you know, it's gonna be a big portion of our people are gonna be like so. You know, oh hell, oh well, but you know, out of the videos, hope hopefully we, you know, someone to get the uh, message and the understanding, which it, you know, all comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, who gets this truth and who understands this and repent. Okay, so uh, let's see if I'm trying. I don't know if y'all even need to want to even play the video. I don't know how TMZ goes, but uh. I think I might just play it anyway. Okay. It says, uh, take off murder Quavo and heated argument before fatal shots. New video from shooting. Okay. It says Quavo was toe to toe with a group of guys outside that Houston bowling alley. Take off and others had his, had his back while he argued for more than 30 seconds before the shooting began. Which, you know, uh, when you get into these different types of uh, altercations and you're with famous, uh, you know, that's what Esau, Esau Edom call it, and this is his world. So he, you know, he, you know, he calls you famous, which, and gives you all this publicity or fame or whatever. And, you know, everyone looks at you. And and this is what happens, man. Especially when you among a bunch of niggas, man. Uh, most of these niggas, you know, I'm pretty sure they didn't even have money. You know, not as much money as these guys have seen. Which, you know, it's not all about money, as you can see. But you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man, but, you know, and this happened to be the, the deceased right here, you know, and, uh, you know, I, this guy was only 20 years, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, I got a couple of scriptures, uh, I don't even know if I, now I've seen, I don't, I don't know if I want to play the video, but the video I played, what did I see? You know, it was they was arguing back and forth about. Uh, I think I the last thing I heard him say was about basketball. I mean, you see me play basketball, and you know, which you know, it's just a bunch of jealous niggas. If you ask me, from what I got out of it, why are you worried about basketball? You know, and it's just it's crazy, man. And I believe it looked like it was a scuffle, and then all of a sudden you just hear guns go off. Uh, I guess I'll play I'm not 
This was the uh that situation man and, and I had another video that you know the after effect but I don't know YouTube probably won't let that happen okay which is this is part of it here and this is uh uh the what's his name uh takeoff yeah, this is takeoff right here on the ground, right? So, hey, man, see, and that was a, a big thing, you know. Uh, that's a lot of times you don't, you, you know, your mouth could get you in trouble, you know. I'm trying to, but let's get this, this scripture here from the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 8, and verse 7. It says, ye, the stork in heaven knoweth her appointed time, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord Yahweh. See? And that's true, man, because, you know, you could tell people what, what you know, what the Lord is all about and what he does, man. And people will you know, look at you funny, like, no, I, no, not my God. Hey, the Lord does all these things, man. Okay. And I, I was just, I was getting ready to watch a video from the brother, uh, uh, I believe he's an elder Kazak at the, in the Mississippi camp. I believe he was one of the heads, uh, down there. And, uh, and he brought out this scripture, which, you know, we all know, this one, man. I believe no, it was what was it first Samuels? Uh let's see. Give me a second. Yeah, I believe it was in the book of first uh first Samuels chapter one. I believe in the verse. And I thought about this, man, uh while I was at the uh no chapter two. First Samuels chapter two. I thought about this specific scriptures, man, while I was at the plantation, you know. It says, the Lord, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. Okay? And that's like one of my go-tos. I, I, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know why I said ch uh, chapter one, but I knew it had to be chapter one or chapter two. But, man, you know, this is the Lord, man. This is what he do. Okay? Let's see. Uh this is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall obtain and understand and under and unto wise counsel. Okay, and that's a, and that's who we're looking for, man. We're looking for the wise man. Because now, if you take this situation into consideration and know that the Lord put these things out here to wake up certain men. And, you know, and, you know, some men get it and some don't. Okay. That's the wise man that the Lord talked about, man. The Lord puts, uses people for examples, man. Okay. Okay. And then the Lord uses men as well as women to do his work, man. Okay. But, you know, this is the time that we're in and it's going to be way more, um, way more depth. You know, this is just the start of it, which, you know, that's not actually the start of it, but it's just the peak of it. No, not even the peak of it. It's sort of kind of the start of it because, you know, it dealt with the, uh, you know, what was that Tupac and, and Biggie? With the, you know, as far as gun violence is a concern with the rap music. And then, you know, a few years passed. Uh, who was, uh, was it, what was the other guy named in New York? Big L? Or did he die before Biggie 
in Tupac. Somewhere around that. But anyway, you know, a few years pass. Then you have, um, uh, what's his name? Young Dolph. Uh, then him and uh, what was the next guy? Uh, uh, the guy in California that got from Philadelphia. Uh, what's his name? R.N. R.N.B. or something. I can't think of him because I, I really never even heard of his music. I never heard of the guy. You know, R.B.N. Oh, is it uh, R.B.N.? Okay, so, yeah, then, and now this guy here. Okay. So, you know, you're going to just expect a lot more deaths. Okay. So the Lord is bringing mass death, man. Okay. So, hey, let's get this one last precept. Uh, but, yeah, man, this is, hey, it's going to get worse. You can believe it before it gets better. Okay. Ecclesiastes. Uh, yeah, let's get Ecclesiastes chapter 3. In verse 21, it said, Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast goeth downwards to the earth? So, hey, man, this, this guy, you know, offset, I mean, takeoff. I don't know why I get him and the other, his other group members' name mixed up, but this is takeoff, right? So he's in the spirit world, okay? And that's how, hey, that's how the Lord does it, man, you know? You know, he probably was, you know, and I, and the video that I uh uh that they sent me on uh the Instagram, you know, it was you know, you can hear him uh screaming his son his his you well know, he was calling him bro, but you know, I think that's his nephew. As far as I know that I know, you know, he was he was gone, man. That dude he was gone, man. His his body was there, he was limp, and that was it, man. So, you know, this this is uh you know, this is this is a part of it, man. Okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there, you know, 'cause, you know, this this is the new thing that's you know, on on the scene for the brothers to talk about and to, you know, uh maybe Someone to turn their turn around and and you know and see the real uh, truth of this thing. And what I mean by that is to repent, man. All right, because um, you know we we definitely in this the time of uh, the Lord judging, you know. But anyway, you know, with that being said. Uh, yeah, that should be it. I know we're going to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone who taught us this truth and who's continued to teach us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, and um, Shalom to the whole full act.